This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Good afternoon and welcome to the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Daniela Contreras. And I'm Amber Chalker. A big day and VIP guest for Texas Tech, Chancellor Kent Hance, Tech's third chancellor, is being honored for his service by Governor Rick Perry. It's about to kick off. This event will run from 4.30 to 6 today in the United Spirit Arena. Hans announced last October that he will retire as chancellor after eight years at the helm. He led a campaign that raised a billion dollars for Texas Tech, and he got word this spring from Regents that he'll be given the title of Chancellor Emeritus. There's a search on now for, to find Tech's fourth chancellor. Today's event at the USA is free and open to the public. Grad students like me have a new place to hang out and work, a new graduate center in the administration building. The center was dedicated yesterday with a ribbon cutting that included President Duane Nellis, Provost Lawrence Skubinek, and grad school dean Mark Sheridan. The space is 2,000 square feet in the basement of the west wing of the administration building. I can wait to check it out. With Texas in an extreme drought, water supplies continue to evaporate and cities are making enforced water restrictions. Jasmine Bradford reporter from reports from the Texas Water Smart event. One person can easily save 20 gallons a day. If you take the city the size of level, they save 20 gallons a day. That's going to be a lot. On Tuesday afternoon, Chancellor Kent Hance, Agricultural Commissioner Todd Staples, and State Representative Charles Perry stressed the importance of water conservation with the Texas Water Smart program. You can go to TexasWaterSmart.com and you'll see the banners here uh, have easy, user-friendly tips. The commissioner provided tips on how Lubbock and even Tech students can help save water during the drought. Well, the entire state of Texas is suffering mildly from an ongoing drought. Lubbock, South Plains, and Panhandle is the most uh, impacted portion of our state today. Chancellor Hans gave his insight on how he saves water himself. I can serve in my house. I can serve with drinking water. You know, and I, I, I don't, every time I get a cup of water, I don't wash my cup out before I drink. Today, April 2nd, is Autism Awareness Day, April's Autism Awareness Month. Reporter Daniela Paraga has more on this ailment, which strikes about one child in 60. It's time to shine a light on autism. World Autism Awareness Day is celebrated April 2nd every year to increase and develop knowledge about autism and celebrate the unique talents and skills of persons with autism. Autism Awareness Day is a day designed to increase people's awareness of uh, autism and hopefully as I always say about autism awareness not just that they know the word but that they actually start to understand what it means to have autism the challenges that autism may have you know challenges that people with autism may have but also the strengths they bring to the table the things that they have that are unique that make them well suited to be successful Wesley Dodson, assistant well. professor and interim co-director of the Burkhardt Center for Autism Education and Research at Texas Tech, says autism is a neurodevelopmental disability that is defined behaviorally by three primary deficits, social skills, language skills, and repetitive behaviors. One of the difficulties in defining autism cleanly is that it's a spectrum disorder, which means that those three characteristics manifest themselves differently across different individuals with autism. According to the Center for Disease and Control and Prevention website, autism affects one in 68 children. Gabby Mena is a senior environmental engineering major from Laredo, Texas. Her seven-year-old cousin Emilio was diagnosed with autism and he was three years old. He doesn't pay attention to people only if you know him and you talk to him. But he pays attention to her, like to his teachers. Yes, he's very smart, he loves computers, he can do animation and computers. The Autism Speaks website states that although there is no medical detections or cure, early diagnosis and intervention is key. The Burkhart Center offers intervention services, outpatient services, provides families with support and guidance, and offers classes for young adults with autism to develop job, social, and life skills. 
In addition, the Burkhart Walk for Autism Awareness is held annually to promote autism awareness in the community and celebrate the lives of individuals and families with autism. Mm -hmm. We'll have Raider Red, we'll have the Masked Rider. We're trying to get Cliff Kingsbury. We're not sure if we're going to get him or not. The annual Burkhart Walk for Autism Awareness will be held right here at AT&T Jones Stadium on Saturday, April 28th from 2 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's open and free for the public. For MCTV, I'm Daniela Parraga. Hey Danielle, hasn't it been nice out these past couple days? Yeah, it's so nice to have warm weather. Here's how it looks right now on our MCTV live tower cam. It's a bit hazy but warm, about 85 degrees, and it was much milder overnight. We only got down to about 60 for an overnight low. Tonight we'll see a low of around 50, but there is a cool down coming tomorrow. And Friday we'll only hit about 70 degrees for the highs, and we might be in the 30s Friday morning. That's all for this Wednesday's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check ttuhub.net every day for more news and we'll see you tomorrow.